the descent into the creek. If I can make it down here without busting my butt. It's a pretty steep side here. Look at the size of this snake head. Goes all the way around to here. Hope we don't run into this guy anytime soon. Looks like that might be his house right there. Let's see if I can get this skin out of here. That's yeah, too dried out. That was a big snake. Randy's got something cornered up. Where is it? There it is. Cool. This guy's eating a delicious grasshopper. Alright, this is a technique we call cooning. You just scoop rocks out and chunk them out here. And sometimes you'll get lucky and find yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> now, I, I just found this one a couple scoops ago, but... That's yeah. kind of what we do. That's pretty sweet. That's the first point I found in, a, I don't know, maybe a week or two. I like it. Mm -hmm. okay. This is uh, one of the snakiest parts of the creek that we got to hike through. You can see there's a lot of foliage. And there's a little dam up there that holds water. Silly beavers. Check out these armadillo holes. Hey, Brandy, you want to do some noodling? <laughs> you did. This one here looks pretty fresh. You can see little tracks leading up to that one. I don't know if I want to stick my hand up in there. There's been something following us around the woods today. There's been several reports of panthers out here, and uh, we thought we just heard something jump the whole dang creek. Get back to y'all. We had some high winds here last week. I'm guessing that's what did this to this pine tree. Snapped the whole side of it off. And there it lays. Took that one. Yeah, took that little one out. What you got there? <laughs> that almost made me throw up. It scared me so bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I stepped on it. And you stepped on it? Yeah. Looks like it might be a rat snake or something. Well, it's just a skin. You okay? I'm okay. Good. What you got there? It's a little dragonfly net. Wow, that's pretty cool. We find these in the creek all the time until a few years ago. We didn't know what they were. That's what a dragonfly looks like before they grow wings and fly. <laughs> Remnants of an old oyster bed. We've been trying to locate this oyster bed for years in this creek. Hadn't had any luck finding it, but we find handfuls of this stuff. This is one of the few creeks in town that has flowing water. It has two big springs that feed into it. August 30th cleanup video. Today we hit a local creek, hiked it around for about a mile and found a couple of points. Here's Brandy's first point. Little resharpened Gary made out of petrified wood. Pretty cool. Found this little sucker. I'm not quite sure what type it is. Awesome material though. It's real banded. That's just how they made the tip on it. Round. It's chipped all the way around. Some crude bud off of something. Here's another butt. Three knife tips here. A couple of miscellaneous chips and a little piece of East Texas amber. This stuff's awesome. It's actually a petrified sap. You'll find this on chunks of petrified wood and whatnot. Pretty cool. Alright, talk to y'all later.